Hey guys, welcome back to Rapid City Real Estate News. I'm Christian Morrison, local real estate agent here in the Rapid City Black Hills area. Uh, I do this video every Tuesday morning um, just to keep everybody up to date on what's happening in the market here. Real estate is such a talked about topic. Uh, and there's a lot of things going on with the real estate in the world and the U.S. right now. So um, I think it's a good thing to talk about and to keep people updated on. Now, um, kind of before I jump into numbers of the last week, which the numbers are very good. Like I said, the numbers are very good um, compared to what they've been in the last couple months. So I'm excited for that, so I can share that with you guys. Before I get into that, let me talk about kind of what's been happening, I guess you could say, the pulse or the field market. Um, I've had a couple clients in the last couple days even um, get houses under contract, meaning we got the accepted offer, I have the buyer as my client, and we've either one, competed against nobody, or two, uh, got the offer without going anything over asking price, which is insane, um, especially for our market for what it's been the last two years. So I'm telling you this as an encouraging thing. If you have been on the fence about getting into the market, the time is here. Uh, now it's going to be much, it's already been a much better market, much easier to get into. Um, and especially if you're selling a house and buying a house, now's the time because you can be competitive with a home sale contingency now. Uh, before, if you had a home sale contingency, you're basically out. So I think that's a really encouraging thing and I hopefully that will continue. I don't see any reason why it won't continue when I get into the numbers. You'll kind of see the same things that I'm seeing. <clears throat> you know, interest rates are have not really changed in the last th three weeks. They're right about, today they're at 5.44%. That's kind of where they've been for the last, you know, 30 days or so. Maybe not maybe not quite that long, but it's been at least three weeks in the same range. Um, so that's really encouraging. Um, new construction, kind of the same way it's been. Um, Prices aren't going too crazy on that. I've seen a ton, a ton, a ton of price drops of houses. Because I think uh, some of you guys that are sellers out there, I might be talking to you, um, kind of went a little overboard with what you think your house is worth. Um, or maybe you got bad advice on what to price it at. I don't know. But prices are becoming more realistic now and not as competitive. So if you've been on the fence, you've been waiting for this market to slow down, now is probably your time to strike. I, I personally think it's going to continue this way for the rest of the year unless something happens in the political landscape or something to that nature in the US that forces people here again. Um, I don't think it's gonna change much. I think it's probably gonna stay this way, which in any other market in the history of the Black Hills, US, this is a crazy hot market still. Um, but I'm just saying compared to what we've seen the last two years, it's much easier to get into. Now, let's get into numbers a little bit here. Um, as of this week, 45 new houses to the market. Sweet number, 375,000 is the median price on that. Only 12 of those 45 went under contract. It means they have an accepted offer. So that's an amazing stat. For over the last few years, it's been at least half have gone under contract, if not more. So only 12 out of 45 is a great number. Uh, 29 houses sold uh, for about 10,000 over asking on average. And here it is. Here's the number, guys. 105, over 100. I've been waiting for this number. 105 active houses on the market, medium price point of 395. So you have options now. We had times in the past where there was like 15 houses on the market. Now we have 105, so many options. <laughs> so if you've been waiting for that, here it is. Average days on the market till a house is under contract is eight days. Here's another thing. Houses are sitting there for a little bit now. So you got some bargaining power with them, super nice. Um, crazy, one of the clients I was talking about this last weekend this house had been sitting on the market for over a week and never got an offer on it. And in my opinion, it was priced correctly. But another good sign for you there. Not a great sign if you're waiting for the best time to sell that you thought you'd get crazy multiple offers. May not happen right now, it could happen still, uh, for sure. Like there's still houses getting multiple offers. I just dealt with one yesterday that had multiple offers on it. Um, but not every house is like it was before. And like I said, uh, interest rates today, 5.44%. Uh, um, so historically really low, um, that is expected to kind of go uh, up slightly for the rest of the year, maybe around anywhere from five and a half to 6% is what I keep hearing. Um, so I think that's a good chance of that happening. Now last little housekeeping thing here, um, if you are interested in all in investing in real estate, people talk about investing all the time, uh, maybe you want to get into it, maybe you've done it a little bit, but want to get around more people that are like-minded or doing the investing game. I, I am investing myself, um, I have a lot of clients and friends that are investing, and I decided to start hosting meetups slash a little bit of a seminar uh, once a month, and so this coming Saturday, which is, I don't even know what day that is, let's see, this coming Saturday the 28th, 
I'm having an investor meetup slash seminar. Um, I'm gonna host it at my office here in Rapid City, basically downtown, close to downtown on Main Street. Um, if you're interested in coming at 9 a.m. on Saturday, uh, we'll do that. I'll have coffee and stuff like that there for you. So be around like-minded people, maybe learn some stuff, maybe do your first deal, maybe do your second or 10th deal, whatever you're at, um, and help each other out. So if you're interested in investing at all, definitely come on Saturday, there's some good info there and a good way to network with other investors. That is all I got for you today, guys. Thanks so much for watching this uh, episode, and I will see you next week. See ya.